We live in a world of stories. Now a story can be fact, or it can be fiction. But sometimes, even when the facts are overwhelmingly clear, some people choose not to believe them. What do you believe? There's no doubt that pieces of the natural world could survive if humanity pushes our planet to the brink. But it is not a world that you and I are familiar with. If we do nothing, the picture of the world is one of absolute devastation. Super storms all the time, heat waves that kill thousands. There's not access to clean water. There isn't access to food. Climate change is deeply connected to the destruction of our ecosystems on land and sea. Species extinction, habitat loss, these are not just things, well, we can lose a little of this, a little of that. Acidification, pollution, overfishing, literally strip mining the ocean. We live inside of a living system. If something uh, puts that system in peril, you are in peril. It's not always political issues which makes political crisis. In many cases, these crises happen because of environmental issues. Most of humanity lives on the coasts. You're headed toward a world where that's gonna become dangerous. You have a refugee crisis as people start moving away from where they've been for generations. A world that is warmer has more war. All of this can seem incredibly overwhelming. But the truth is, the only way not to feel hopeless is simply to take action. But what do we do? How do we solve a problem that is so massive, so complex, and is always changing? In order to tackle this issue, we can't just solve one thing. We've got to solve them all, simultaneously. And it's important to look at the best teacher, nature. Nature is never still, it is always changing. The key with LDF was to build an organization that was dynamic, nimble, and most importantly, one that responded to nature's most urgent threats. Because less than 3% of all philanthropic giving goes towards protecting our planet, we knew we had to do something now. And instead of trying to do it all ourselves, LDF is focused on getting support and resources out to the most effective organizations on the ground. To date, we're proud to have given over $80 million in grants to projects across six areas of focus. For example, there's Amazon Frontlines and the Sabo Alliance, a project in the Western Amazon. For decades, Industrial-scale deforestation, mining, agriculture, and oil production has threatened the lives of the indigenous people. With support from LDF, Amazon Frontlines and the Sabo Alliance are providing clean energy and water solutions, as well as empowering the local communities to map and protect their ancestral lands. Leo's Foundation understands the scale of the threats. They've raised significant resources dedicated to protecting our planet's last wild places. In our oceans, the National Geographic Society's pristine seas has been conducting expeditions to help form marine protected areas. LDF helps fund their scientific studies of these ecosystems, which show us the benefits of protecting them. As of today, 17 of the 23 places they've studied have been protected. This is where Leonardo DiCaprio and his foundation are so important. We need to inspire people to contribute to the largest ocean conservation legacy in history. We'll look at the Solutions Project, a leading voice in renewable energy. In 2014, they proved that a world of wind and solar energy is entirely possible. Now, 
with support from LDF, they're investing in communities and leaders on the front lines of transitioning. The great thing about the Solutions Project is it is so audacious. 100% sustainable when it comes to energy, period. Well, sometimes you have to raise the bar that high to get people's imagination going. This is just a small example of the over 200 projects that we've been honored to support at LDF. Each one has their own unique story. And together, we can write a new story and a new vision for the future. A future where the natural world and humanity coexist in harmony. But in order to get there, we need to drastically change the way we live on this planet. Citizen action, people being involved, accountability and activism within the political process. This is not a losing proposition if we do the things that we know we can do and that we have the technology to do now. You know, it's human nature to go to sleep, not pay attention, and it's human nature to wake up too and to realize that we can be better, we have to be better, and then to start being better. We are living in a very small planet Earth. The national boundaries do not have many meaning. It's a matter of solidarity of our society. We have to work together. Anyone who thinks that they can't make a difference is wrong. The future is living in harmony with nature instead of the way modern humans seem to live in competition with it. Everyone has a role to play. Right now is this incredible window of time where we have not just an obligation, but really a call to action to get the entire planet and all of society globally on board with transitioning to a new way of existing. You can't hurt the planet without hurting people too. So forcing the issue now, while there's still some time, is doing a tremendous service to humanity. Everybody recognizes this responsibility. We don't own the planet, we borrow the planet, we pass it on to future generations. And the truth is, we have not fully lived up to that responsibility yet, but we can. This is our story. And ultimately, we are the ones writing it. We have to realize that. This isn't fiction. It's our future. We can all have an impact. But we have to work together to protect our only home.